Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. In this set, it is said that there are eight students. They got different marks in a mock test. Okay, and uh, what they did was they did not tell the number, their score in the subject in the test, but uh, they told the sum of the marks of the remaining seven students. So these are the students. Suppose you ask Manu what what was your score, so Manu will tell the sum of scores of all these seven people suppose you ask leela what is the score so leela will tell the sum of manu isha simmi parv adam changes and edwin so each student told the sum of marks of the remaining seven students okay so the responses of these students are given in this bar graph these are the numbers that they told and it is not mentioned that which student told which number okay now how do we solve such a question is let us say these are seven students eight students s1 s2 s3 and so on up to s8 okay so when the first student responds the first student suppose s if i you ask s1 s1 will tell you the value of s2 plus s3 plus s4 right now if you ask s2 s2 will give you the sum of s1 plus s3 Four, five, six, seven, and S eight. If you ask S three, S will S three will tell you S one plus S two plus S four, and so on. Right now, what do you see common in all these things is one of the numbers is missing. Right. So suppose the total from S one to S S one and so on up to S eight is. x let us say the grand total is x so this first person is telling you x minus s1 second person is telling you x minus s2 third person is telling you x minus s3 and so on right so what we will do is we will add all these so when we add all these values what we will get we will get uh, we will have first student second student third student and eighth student telling us x minus S8. So if we add all these values, we will get 8 times of x minus S1 plus S2 plus S3 and so on, right? So that again results to x only. Okay. So we will get the value of 7x. So if we add all these values, we will get 7x. So let's add all these values and divide by Seven to get the total sum. Okay, so let's add this. So this is sixty-seven, seventy, hundred, hundred thirty-seven, one fifty-one, one eighty-three, two hundred and eight. And these are eight. Sixty-four plus two hundred and eight, six six zero eight is your total. Okay, six six zero eight is the total. Now this is seven x. X is the total sum, right? So you will get the value of x as nine. Four, four, x is nine forty four. So that means the total value of all these students is nine forty four. Now, if you want to find individual, so this is x minus s one, right? X minus s one is eight twenty one, right? So you can find s one. S one will be nine forty four minus eight twenty one, which is one twenty three. So calculate these values by subtracting from nine forty four. So this is ninety eight. This will be one four one. This will be one one four. This will be one zero seven, hundred and thirty, hundred and twelve, and hundred and nineteen. So these are the values of these students. Okay, these are the marks of the students. But we do not know who which student got how many marks. Okay. So let us see the questions. The first question is: What is the difference? Between the maximum and the minimum scores of these students. Now, this question could have been answered without even doing all this calculating all this sum because we know that this is actually the sum given. So, find the difference between the biggest and the smallest graph. So, the difference is 43. Okay, so the answer is 43. This you could have answered by just taking the difference of the graph only. If Adam is the only person whose score is between 120 and 130, how many marks did he score? So between 120 and 130, we have only one score, which is 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 123. How many students scored more than 100 marks? 
so we know that except uh, this student there are seven students who scored more than 100 marks okay what is the average score of the eight students so total score is 944 <clears throat> okay 944 is the total of uh, uh, all the eight students right so just divide 944 by 8 you will get 118 so the average score is 118 so these questions can be answered by using this graph now here is a question for you to answer in the comments on this video so an additional information is given apart from what is given above it says that the score of isha is the average score of changes and manu and the score of Manu is the average score of Simi and Edwin. So, you have to answer two questions. Who scored the highest marks in the test? If it cannot be determined, you can just uh, comment cannot be determined. And what is the difference between the marks of Isha and Simi? If you cannot determine the answers, you can just mention cannot be determined or else comment the answers in the comment section of this video.